Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back to Let's Pick Cthulhu Saves the World on the PC. The last time, we got ourselves a pretty kitty for a companion, aka the green paws there, and uh, he's pretty awesome. He's got a combo package damage dealer slash healer thing going on. I like it. I like it. And then we went into a spaceship to figure out why they're abducting the cows. We're still not entirely sure, but we'll figure it out. Uh, still on Spaceship 4-2. I was trying to get back to where we were, and I ran into this, so I'm not sure uh, where the laser barrier is deactivated from, but we shall find it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's even on this floor that it's deactivated, but, uh, well, we'll discover it as we, get, as we go. You know, we only got a few more battles left, so let's go ahead and get those out of the way. And plus, with that, we'll be able to get, um... We'll be able to get, uh, our... Uh, last little bit of leveling for this area done. Ooh, everyone gets all spiky and stuff. I like it. Okay, sharp. You are extremely low on HP, but you're dead. Okay, but I think we should be able to. Yeah, clobber you guys. Sharp got another level. Uh, let's go with uh, 10 to everything. I'll take that. Be very nice. Get these last three battles out of the way here. Hey, hello. Okay, uh, let's see. We need tentacles. We need snowstorm on the middle guys. We need tempest. And we need fireball. Ow. Oh, actually, they're not hitting for very much. So, I mean, they are hitting a lot, but not hitting for, well, a real lot. Uh, so you go for a tentacles and everyone else just uh, tap. Yeah, there we go. That worked out pretty good. One more. Or two more. And more you guys. Let's see. Snowstorm. That guy. Tempest. And fireball. Pause, 216. Oh, he gets two. Did he always have two hits to his attack? Yeah, I think he did. I just wasn't paying attention. Sharp doing a little more than pause. And Kadu doing way more than either of them. So, I'll take it. Then again, he also ignores, um, what is it? Defense with his new sword. So that helps. 30 strength, 40 magic. Uh, October, as far as I can tell, your HP and MP are fine for the most part. So, let's give you more magic for more power. I like it. Who's going to... Is this going to... Uh, Okay, this last battle isn't even going to really help anybody, but I'll take it anyways. Okay, uh, I think we saw before that these trees were being irritating. Let's see, 546, 591, let's do that. You quick draw. Actually, you know what? You snowstorm those guys. You multi-strike or death blow or... Okay, new wind strike on that guy right there, and you fireball everyone else. That should work out, I think. That way, we're not going to get poisoned. Well, something happened there, but I'm not sure what. I think somebody got stunned or something. I'm not sure. All right, there we go. And now we're out of battles to deal with. Okay, that works out pretty good. Now, where was that other force field that we missed? Was it right here? I don't know. I don't think it was over here, was it? No, we've already done everything over here. I'm assuming it's one of these staircases right here that... Uh, I'm assuming it has to be this staircase right here. I don't remember, so... On the plus side, there appears to be a treasure chest down there. This is the third floor. Okay, we'll just take it then, I guess. We'll probably have to find a nice, cool couch over here. That's awesome, I guess. Hey, they got nice little living quarters going on here. Okay, more force fields that we can't do much about. Anything else over here? More treasures. We need to get to that bottom floor. Ooh, there's the save point. That means the boss is gonna be over there somewhere. Okay, nothing to do with that. Huh. 
There must be, we must have to use the other stairs to get down to the floor or not. But I'm always happy to be proven wrong. Well, sometimes. So when it's something useful. And there's more stairs. Oh, I see where we are. Okay, let's see, or heal up at least right there. So those stairs go there. Now, where were the original stairs that we ignored? Okay, over here. There you go. That's what I like to see. 3,500 gold. Very nice. I'll take it. There must be more stairs that I am missing here. Okay, that goes over there. There is that right there. We need to find the other laser deactivator. A zap tome. There we go. That would be for October, I do believe. Increases electric damage. Um, magic plus 120, low plus 60. The only problem is that will reduce our fireball damage. Uh, let's see. Well, there's one way to check. Alright, let's fight something here. Alright, still the same enemy, so we're not missing out on anything really. Alright, so tentacles. Snow Storm on you. Tempest. Alright, your fireball right now is doing 307. Your lightning is doing 246 times 2. And Tempest 262. Yeah, it's wind anyway, so. Okay, but mainly 307 and 246. That's what I'm looking at right now. Alright, and then. Hello. Okay, well. That's one way to do things here. Uh, we never checked what you looked like insane, so let's do that. Let's see. Let's go with the freeze. Let's see. Keep up the brave wind. 225 versus 405 times 2. So if we know there's a boss coming up, that'll probably be excellent. And your insanity doesn't look very much different from the original. Oh, well. Hello. That did a ton of damage right there. So it seems like if we know we're going to need to uh, fight something that's going to be weak to electric or just we know there's a boss coming up, it seems like uh, the zap tome will be perfect. But for random battles, I think uh, the fire tomb would be better. Unless, of course, we end up getting a uh, multi-hit uh, lightning spell as well, which would be awesome. Yeah, we could just leave it on. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so over on this side. There, there we go. That's what I was looking for right there. The laser barrier deactivated. Hopefully both of them. Yes. And an alien tunic. Okay, hopefully this is better than our... current thing here. Let's see. We lose agility. We get... a whole bunch of extra vitality, a little bit extra will, a little bit extra strength. Uh, the problem is, I kind of like your speed being reasonably fast there. Yeah, because you're getting a ton of agility out of that tunic right now. Uh, so that that uh, tunic that we just picked up there, the alien tunic, it'll be good for when we get more agility from level ups. But for now, I don't think I want to worry about it. Let's see over here. That's where we were. Now over here. This is, I think, pretty much where we came in from. Okay, there we go. Now where do you? Over here, on this floor. Where do you end up? Are you just gonna end up on like an entirely different floor? Oh, you're on the first floor. Was that something? Have we already been to those stairs then? Huh. I'm assuming so. I thought those were new stairs. Apparently I just got turned around. Okay. That makes sense because I'm an idiot. So, okay. 
That's fine by me, I guess. If we get a few more battles, the cat can get another level. But I think we'll probably just get another level when we fight the uh, the boss that's potentially coming up anyway. So, yeah, who cares? I'm digging the uh, roundabout path here just to make sure we didn't miss anything. We already got that. I think that was the last one we just got, actually. I don't think we actually missed anything. If we did, well, tough. I tried. Okay, there was a save point right over here, so let's do that. And let's go ahead and save just to make sure, considering what happened last time. Hey, it's another kitty cat. Uh, I'm not seeing any developer interviews, though. Eh, oh well. And you look like a space kitty pirate because you got the eye patch. This is a ship's bridge. With just a few button presses, we can take over the ship and save the world. Not so fast. Another kitty! Pause. My evil one eyed twin. I never thought you'd stupid working with humans. Oh, hi, Cthulhu. Long time no see. Hey. Associating with these humans has taught me that there is more to life than subjugating planets. We just met a few minutes ago. Foolish twin, you always were the soft one. It's time to teach you a lesson. I will not lose to the likes of you. Hey, hey we got a boss time against uh, Paws the Kitty Cat with a lot of HP. Lost his eye in a tragic space blip accident. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. Okay, let's insanify you real fast to see what you look like. Freeze. Uh, you go ahead and... Let's see... Get your strength, and you go with a. Let's see, we got Dark Blast. I think Lightning's gonna be the key to go here. Quick draw. It hurts a little bit. I'll take it. 910 damage. I like it. It's not doing extra damage, but it's doing a fair amount of damage. You know, we might want to just uh, un Insanify you, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see, Brave Wind, and keep up with the Fragile, that way your Lightning Resistance will go down, and you take more damage. Ah, perfect. Let's see, now, let's go with a Tentacles there for extra damage. Uh, you go for a quick heal all just to have it, and you start off your attack, and then you... That should do extra damage, I'm thinking. That did less damage. Huh. That's odd. Maybe it didn't actually go through with the... Uh... It didn't maybe it actually didn't go through with the resistance down. Or maybe the resistance is just resistance to status helmets. I'm not sure. Let's see, do we need any of these? No, we don't. Okay, so just go with regular attack there, and you go with a... Oh, I always forget that Quake is actually a combo finisher, but I don't think this can actually make too much of a difference there. Um, let's see, what else can we do here? That did less damage than I was hoping, actually. Um, let's see how much Freeze does. Probably not that much, but we'll try. Yeah, I think the, uh, I think the lightning would be better. And unfortunately, pause, heal all is not all that strong. Oh, well. All right, let's go with more tentacles. So that seems to do a lot of damage there. Yeah, it's a bit weak, but oh well. But with the combo, though, it goes up, so that's nice, at least. Eh, even with the uh, going up, it's not doing a whole lot. 
Maybe Ubi would be better for the fight just for the fact that uh, she'd do more uh, single target healing. But then again, I do like the multi target. It'll probably get stronger later, but for now, we'll just have to deal with it. Let's see, Dark Blast. We don't need you. We need Lightning. Okay, Nick, this should probably finish everyone off here. So there we go. And. Gotcha. Nice and maybe not easy, but doable. Cthulhu got a level, very nice. Let's see, HP and Vitality, or MP and Will. Uh, let's go with HP and Vitality. Umi, Will, or Agility. Let's go with Agility. Sharp. Targets one enemy, extra hits. Targets all enemies, extra damage. That's good for bosses, that's good for enemies. So basically, it's pretty much double power for his random encounters or extra damage for his uh, bosses. Then again, for bosses, we do the multi, we do the uh, hit plus one, and then we physical attack, and that works out pretty good. I think I'll just go with this for well, killing enemies faster. October double spell power next turn only. That's pretty good. I'm gonna go with that. That'll be good for various uh, well, bosses, really. Pause. Small chance that insane enemies will become stunned, or water ice plus 50%. Um, I don't think you actually have any water or ice abilities. At least not that I'm... Oh, yeah, you do. Let's go with that, because honestly, I don't use the insanity as much as I probably should. Because, well, it buffs up the enemies, and really I only ever do it just to see what they look like. So yeah, let's just go with the extra water and ice damage there. Very well, evil twin with the bad eye. No! Pause his appears. Now, all I have to do is push a few buttons, and the spaceship will be ours. Don't worry about that, I already took care of it! Boom! What did you do? I just pressed the big red button! Wasn't that right? That was a self-destruct button, you idiot. Everybody, out of the spaceship. Everyone goes back to the teleport pads. Teleport, activate. Cthulhu and his group escape the spaceship just as it crashes into the river below. That was close. We may have lost the nifty spaceship, but I saved the world just like the game's title said I would. Hey, we gained 50 hero points, yay, and we're still not a true hero. How many more do you need? What? I saved the world. Only once, though. Come back after you saved it multiple times. Oh, I'm starting to dislike you, narrator. Hey, look! The ship has blocked the river and revealing a new path for us to take. I guess crashing the spaceship was a good thing after all, right? Don't talk to me, woman. <laughs> Onward to glory. Stupid narrator. Yeah, that's great. Uh, let's see. You know what? We can go this way to the town, but we don't need to. She has our HP and everything. Yeah, Alright, MP's not quite filled up yet. How convenient that a spaceship crashed in just precisely the right spot to block the river and let us progress. Indeed. It's like something out of a video game. You don't say, do you? You don't say. Uh, where'd the hotel run off to? Ah, over here. There we go. Uh, trying to disappear on me. Uh, we don't need to say right now. We're good. And this time I mean it. Because we're not going to fight a boss and then well, die right after. Uh, how do you get out of this dang town? I don't know. Can we teleport to... Eh, we can't teleport to the uh, cow town, which... Then again, it's not much of a town. It's just, well, cows. So uh, that makes sense, I guess. So all this down here is now available. And we got Spyro Knights and a Scream Cone. You scream, I scream, we all scream for ice cream. Yay! Not just pally swapped, honest. Or pallet swapped. Uh, like this, baby. Uh, no, let's not. Uh, let's go ahead and see what you guys look like in Tantified, though. And you go with a snowstorm on. Probably not the Scream Cones, actually. You, your Tempest is much more powerful now. I like it. And your Fireball will melt the ice cream, so that'll probably be nice. And they lost their heads. And the ice creams are even more screamy. But they're all dead too, so that works. 
I'll take that. All right, now let's see down here. There's a forest. Was that the forest we already grid? Yeah, it was. Okay. Wait, was it? Or was that a different ghost forest? Nope. Okay. Oh, that's right. The river was in the way, so that's why we couldn't go forward this way. Okay. Hey, scream cones of stuff. Let's see. Snowstorm. That's not going to do a whole lot of damage to you guys, but you know what? Screw it. Yeah, half damage, but whatever. Still does some damage. And there we go. Those ice creams give decent experience. I like it. All right, down there's probably the way forward. I was going to go down, but uh, the cockatrice got in the way. And an Owl 3. Okay, so from Owl... Was there even an Owl 1? I don't remember. All right, cockatrice is crow at the break of dawn. You rat bastards waking me up all early. And feed you all night long, baby. Right, let's see. Tentacles, snow, uh, cockatrices, tempest, and fire. I guess the... I'm thinking about it, and the owl enemies, assuming there was more than just the two that we've seen, and I can't remember if there was others, uh, they're probably references to uh, Audrey the Plant from Little Shop of Horrors. Huh, I forgot about that movie. Didn't they have Rick Moranis in it? I think. I don't remember, but it was a weird movie, and I think it had like musical parts to it. But nothing wrong with musicals, but... Yeah, I only like some musicals, really. Hey, Paul's got a level, very nice. Uh, tentacles targets random enemies, that's nice. Uh, targets one group. Uh, we already have a group attack, so I'm gonna go ahead with the random enemies, because that'll be good for bosses. Alright, so we got several caves that we can go to here. We got you. We got you. Actually, I'm curious, are those just gonna be, um side caves, now that I think about it. Probably. Alright, tentacles. Uh, well, you, you got the same thing. 159, let's see. Okay, so not as powerful as uh, Cthulhu's there, but whatever. Uh, let's see. I think your snowstorm would be enough to take out the uh, cheerleaders here, though. There we go. But it should be good for bosses. Um... I'm assuming that these are just going to be side paths. All right, so you know what? We're going to call it an episode here. And next episode, we're going to go ahead and go into these uh, potentially side path caves and see if we can, well, do all sorts of uh, free stuff out of them. So, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.